Hi everyone and welcome to Football Syrup as well. We'll continue today the, the series on Swiss football because after having analyzed uh, the new face of the national team and under Murat Yukin, we're now going to look at Andre Brighton writers Ifti Zurich, uh, the outsider who has just won the Super League for the first time in, in 13 years and 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 this was with two very young players who was a lot of, of potential of, of whom you You'll find a mini, mini analysis at the end of this video. Before that, we'll uh, first look at the collective by briefly talking about FTZ's behavior of the ball with, with an image before moving on to, to the video footages. When the opponent tries to, to build from, from, the, from the back, it's a, a, a team that positions uh, itself very high in, in the center to, to force the goalkeeper and central defenders to to play long since their lines uh, their line of five defenders is generally uh, generally often means um, there there's no numerical superiority there with with the the, the two fullbacks who who join uh, the the three center backs of the ball Turek is also very good at leaving only the, the opposing uh, fullback free to him is it's often difficult and risky to switch play, and as he is far away, the the players uh, have time to reposition themselves while while the pass uh, arrives. So I always see this fullback on the opposite side who who's left free, but uh, there is um, there's still a, a Zurich player close by and and another close to the goalkeeper who would complicate this pass uh, as well as above all the, the pass to the central defender as as you can see. What remains to be mentioned here is that it surely isn't worth taking the risk of of playing to a midfielder in in the center because Usman Dumbia would would come out onto him to to get the ball directly high up. Uh, FTZ having created many dangerous chances like that like that this season. That's why the the brother of the famous uh, Said Dumbia was surely the most important player in in Brighton Writers squad this season, uh, as as he's the the only one with with this profile. His excellent running ability is indeed needed in, in the middle to compensate for, for that of the, the experienced Blair in Zemaili, who, who brings character to the team, though, uh, as does goalkeeper and captain Yannick Brecher, another of the, the club's uh, children who, who's also de decisive in, in his box. So, let's now move on to... Oh, yes. However, if the opponent team manages to, to get close to, to this box, um, FTZ is no less dangerous because of, of the threat posed by its counter-attacks. These are often initiated by um, Usman Dumbia as well, just like just like he uh, is already running towards the, the ball carrier to, to prevent him from, from, from advancing and taking a shot. Devorian is then going to recover the ball and throw himself forward, which he also does quite often. And you will see that he will then dribble past an opponent without even touching the ball there. I'll let you enjoy it. It's coming. Now. Another key FC Zurich player is now on the screen. It's the second best scorer of the league, uh, Asan Zise, who is used to, to stay high in the middle when when his team defends low and, and then take advantage of his speed in, in big spaces as well as, as his intelligence in, in these situations, like here, where he's going to, to, to sprint forward and, and slightly to the right to, to create space for Wilfred Nyonto in depth. And you can't see it on the screen, but there's a, defend, uh, a defender on, on the left uh, of the red and, and white circle who will be, will be forced to, to follow Cissé and free up the, pace, the passing line up, uh, to, to Nyanto. Now Cissé is run and the pass to Nyanto. As in Cissé's intelligence didn't stop there though, as once he was being the same defender, he briefly um, redirected his run horizontally to avoid offside and to indicate to Wilfred Nyanto on, on which side of the of the defender he would like to, to receive the ball. 
This ace shot is then going to be blocked by the keeper. Now it's coming. Well, now we come to the second sequen sequence, which is another counter attack uh, I wanted to to show you. So um, this time, uh, a certain CC uh, moved from his central position to make himself um, available on the flanks where where the, there's space. Um, well, Dumbia, it's Dumbia, it's the player visualization is false. It's it's CC there, uh, and Dumbia Dumbia is going to 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 receive the ball. Uh, but well, rather than passing the ball uh, straight back to, to him, Usman Dumbia is going to do a great feint to, so that other teammates uh, have time to join in the, in the counter as well. He really is going to fake a pass to Cissé until the last moment. Um, what you can also appreciate is a run of, of left fullback Adrian Guerrero who will find him, himself at the conclusion of the action, even though he is not that high up here. Look at this run TF40 is putting in. Shot will be blocked, but nice try though. We're going to, to see more of, of these inward runs from Guerrero in the coming sequence, but as quality isn't great here, I wanted to point out where, where the long ball in question starts uh, from first. So. Here we have the big crammer on the on the receiving hand, which makes things easier, as does the, the behavior of Adrian Guerrero and Tozin, who, who moved closer to the Slovenian to, to maximize the, the chances of, of getting the ball in this area. Small triangle they form is then going to, to allow Guerrero to, to receive the ball uh, in front of him, since Tozin's forward one will, will have created space for him. And even if San Cisse is more important than Kramer and, and Tozin, the, these two have a similar profile to the Gambian, which facilitates the various possible association of, of 2B between them. The three are ended uh, very good at, at making deep runs on, in behind on, on the counter with, with their speed, and, and they can also serve um, as a target when, when playing long balls. But Zurich also know uh, how to take advantage of the full uh, width of the field up front by forming a, a line of, of five players in, in their procession phases. This is because, in addition to the, full, uh, the two fullbacks, number 10, uh, Antonio Marquesano, usually also joins uh, the, two forwards, uh, the two forwards up front. Position in this way, progress often means uh, opposing runs, uh, runs in opposite directions, as you can see here on the screens. On the screen, by going deep, Kramer is drawing here uh, two Basel, Basel defenders with him, including the one between the Slovenian and Marquesano. The latter is going to take the opposite route, dropping back a little to to ask for the ball at his feet. But we also have to appreciate a Maragic's pass here. It's coming. In addition to his ability to shoot with both feet, uh, making himself available is another quality of, of Antonio Marquesano, especially in small, pace, in small spaces and sometimes even by, by making deep runs as well. Here we can see we can see is already between the opponent's defensive lines, but he is going to receive a nice pass from uh, from uh, a good pass from from Alit. He will have made the right decision to, to go up and and, and support uh, Guerrero with stretching the, the opponent uh, on the line. And on the other side, it's uh, Boranjasevic who is going to to give width. Um, since after a, a quick reorientation of, of Marquezano with the ball, the right fullback is going to, to arrive in, in behind at, at the right moment, at, at the right place, 
since he always makes sure um, not to arrive too early in these situations. I'll let you enjoy. So, LET support and Marquesano between the lines, quick reorientation, and the shot will go wide. But Boran Yasevich's good anticipation skills are particularly useful in recovering the ball and, and then starting counterattacks. And even if he isn't the one who finally got the, the ball back here, in fact, I chose this, this sequence to introduce Wilfred Nyanto as one who is one of, of the two very young, very young players to, to have had uh, a key role in this title. But it's not him who we are going to, to find directly since Usman Dumbia is, is going to make a, a feint before. This guy really is very good in this register. So now it's coming. The ball will come to Usman Dumbia. Yes. Here you also you've also been able to appreciate the feint of Boran Yazevich, who's then going to send a super cross for for Nyanto, whose run is going to be perfect. He's sorting it at the right time here to to be on the edge of the of, of the offside line when when the ball is going to be crossed, just right behind the young boys defender who was watching the ball, a super uh, so-called blindside blindside run then as is the Italian's header going to be. However, uh, second, uh, second sequence is also ne necessary to get to know the 10 ye the 18 year old um, the, 18, the 18 year years old uh, Italian player. Here, rather than receiving the ball with his back to, to goal, he's going to orient himself to, so that he can go straight forward by, by making a control with his far leg, a small detail that, that makes difference, as, as does his body orientation and the information he will have taken by turning his head to scan behind him. I'll let you enjoy it. Scan, body orientation, far leg control. Then he's again going to orient his body very well by, by turning his, his back to the to the defender who comes out and uh, on him and and then his explosiveness and agility will allow it, will allow him to to be very effective in in small spaces when when dribbling in the area. Even if I think it would be difficult to reproduce that in a in a league where the level is is higher. If I were Nyonto, I would indeed not join a, a two oil uh, league uh, just yet, especially as he's had more of a super sub role this season. Unlike the second year youngster, I want to conclude this video with Bechir Omeragic. The 20 uh, years old Swiss is an undisputed starter and will surely join a very big league this summer, surely even a very big club. And this is not surprising once you know his qualities, which I will illustrate with this last sequence. Even if uh, we can't see him for, for the moment on, on the screen, he's going to, to appear very quickly by, by coming out on, on, uh, on Endoy, uh, who still hasn't oriented himself to receive the ball, uh, even if it's already coming in his, uh, in his direction. Amuragic is going to show him what good anticipation looks like, uh, an aspect on, on which he is truly impeccable. With the ball, Bechir Omeragic is then very good in, in terms of, of passing, but also in terms of driving, uh, as he dares to, to run into spaces until the right moment to, to deliver um, a pass, because it is not yet the right moment here. Indeed, Pavlovic is already there, ready to follow uh, Terzin, who is going deep. So that Omeragic is going to continue to run forward with the ball, uh, to drive uh, this ball until the Basel defender changes his body orientation. Only after Pavlovich has turned his back uh, on Tozin is Omeragic going to pass the ball to his teammates. To his teammate, Tozin. Now.
So Switzerland have a very promising um, centre back here. Although um, I'm waiting to see him defend more in in bigger spaces on on counter attacks, especially in a four man defence. Otherwise, guys, uh, it's a wrap for today. Don't hesitate to subscribe to to my YouTube channel as well as to my Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn uh, account to make sure you don't miss any similar contents. Since there will be other tactical analysis videos uh, as well as other tech, uh, as well as other videos on, on Swiss football here. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and let me know about it in the comment section and to share a video with someone you know. This would help me a lot, way more than you think. Bye bye.